Hey everybody, Gina DeLuca here. Uh, so, I had a request for a purple and lime green piece. So, I'm going to try the, uh, the pour with the dough silicone. try to get these lime green cells to pop up. We have a lovely lime green, which is basically uh, the Liquitex Basics Cadmium Yellow Light Hue, the Magic Cell Maker, with a touch of Basics Phthalo Green. And then I have dioxazine purple. They are mixed two parts Floetrol, one part paint, and uh, thinned down quite a bit um, to a very thin consistency. Basically what I look for when I'm drizzling the paint, I don't want it to form a mound when it hits the paint, I want it to just dissolve. So, let's say we give this a shot. This canvas is a 14 by 14. I'm going to pour it into my measuring cup. So, because I'm going to lay down a base coat, I don't need a full seven ounces, or eight ounces, I think it was, maybe. I had a gig last night, so I'm a little slow today, <laughs> and a little raspy. And... So that's a little over two ounces of paint. So I will do an equal part of the green. And it is sinking, yay. Okay, so I have four ounces of paint there, and I'm going to use this color for my base coat. So if I have negative space, I will have that lime green. The uh, C hooks that I'm using for, you know, on the, uh, to hold the painting up and using it for leveling has been working out great. My paintings uh, have not lost their shape since I started using them. And it's really easy to get them up. They don't stick to the my working surface. I'm quite pleased. I'll be really uh, interested to use that to use them on a, a bigger canvas because I think that's gonna make tilting those big canvases so much easier.
I'm kind of itching to do a big piece. And I went to Michael's when they were having their big sale and got some of the fancy schmancy deep edge canvases. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Just gonna do a straight pour. Almost caught it before that drip. Almost. At least it was a drip in the right direction. Okay, let's pop any bubbles. This does create a lot of bubbles. See what happens. I think I'm going to go this way first. Recenter your paint before changing direction. And the more I stretch this, the more cells that should pop up. But I kind of want to get rid of some of that in-between color. Or the purple and the green mixed, if I can.
Okay, well, I'm just gonna let this sit for a minute and do its thing because cells will continue to pop up. Okay, well, this has been sitting for about a half an hour. And you can see more uh, cells have popped up and they'll probably continue to pop up. There are some places where they're just lingering below the surface. Minimal mud, mud, I mean, it's a brownish purple color, but I don't feel it looks muddy per se. So, uh, request fulfilled. If you have something that you would like to see, please leave it in the comments. I'm always looking for new ideas and I love challenges. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. If only to be brave, do a pour with just green and purple. <laughs> Reckless abandon. Um, but thanks for watching. Uh, please do like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. And all of the products that I use can be found in the Amazon link in the description box. Uh, all right, that's it for me. I hope you all have a beautiful day. And go make some art.